EOS news price prediction and technical analysis welcome back guys it's crypto Rocco here and in today's video I'll be doing a technical analysis price prediction and also I'll talk about some of the news that's coming on for EOS including the big announcement in June that can have a big effect on the price so guys without further ado let's get into the video just a reminder guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy my content and if you find it helpful guys turn on the notification button as well so guys let's get into the video so EOS guys has seen some positive price action lately it's already up 200% which is great I didn't trade at all I think I got in some around this breakout and then I've added some more here and I'm looking I've already I've also added some here as well just because it was a good level to add but I'll talk about the technical analysis after and how I'm looking to trade it but let's talk about what everyone's here to listen watching this video for so June will be the biggest news since EOSIO announcement and it's going around Twitter Reddit social media Facebook where lots of people are talking about it and uh, you know what happens guys buy the rumor sell the news and when this sort of news are coming out people get really excited I'm not gonna speculate too much on what the news is maybe I'll make a different video and talk about the speculation but I'm just going to go through some of the news for EOS and explain to you give you an overview of what I'm seeing so this was the announcement that came uh, came from Larimer June will be the biggest news since EOS and EOS IO announcement so this is not a you know I'm just not hyping it out guys I, in this channel guys I try to be transparent and share with you guys my thoughts and I want you to use this information and make your own decisions so this article is also talking about buy the rumor sell the news type event whenever we see this quality over quantity F has many devs because their solutions are overly complicated by poor initial design no amount of dev can fix what is wrong with ethereum unless they pitchfork to something like eos io so i mean i'm a massive fan of ethereum i know eos are making big claims i have tried to read uh, their white paper and i've tried to learn a bit more about the fundamentals but i need to do more work before i comment on it again i'm more of a technical trader than a fundamentalist but i'd like to uh, research what i'm investing in so i have pretty good knowledge on especially the coins that i'm invested in eos i'm trading more of uh, so I'm, uh, i need to do more research with what is going to happen so for my research guys block.1 the company Company that owns EOS code released it to its community pre-announcement of a Washington event this June 1 potentially hinting at the venue of the announcement there's no major conferences or events listed for that date suggesting EOS may make an independent announcement uh, that the June B1 June event is also meant to generate curiosity as dedicated page was set to invite registrations right to first updates on the issue EOS also remain at the top of China's government rating of public blockchains so that's one positive for it EOS is also the I think the biggest um, ICO I, I can't remember how much they raised but it was definitely way more uh, it was the biggest one to date they've got lots of dApp users there's competition you know people say ethereum tron uh, eos i think ethereum is more the, but the valuable ones but uh, tron and eos are making some noise here as well so eos has improved the price of ram resource falling to new lows of around 0. eos per kilo by allowing for more accessible dApp launch usage additionally eos ecosystem is awaiting wider integration with other projects including Walton chain so recent swap option for EOS based token through Bancor one thing I really like about EOS is um, kind of their staking and the how the the tokenomics of how it works I think it's really advanced compared to Ethereum um, I found it really interesting uh, how how that works so EOS to the moon latest adoption and updates of the EOS ecosystem so I'm going to go through some of them wax shifting to EOS switch your plans to expand EOS, EOS Phoenix again smaller DAX I mean that's a positive for EOS main net for EOS Phoenix is scheduled for May so should be be, we should be hearing something maybe I need to research what's what was going on with this metro hardworky 1 billion EOS VC fund 
there are doing a lot of things that are going on with us and then the big one block one promising a big announcement i think this is a key key one guys because this is what people gets people excited you know buy the rumor sell the news event so i mean i'm i'm, I'm not going to play the whole video you can watch it if you want i recommend again if you're investing a lot of money on it guys without stop losses and investing in the project long term guys please do your fundamental research on it before investing so this is the kind of the big hype even it's similar to verge what verge did you know when they tried to hype up their partnership news and then there's more news going around it like i said people are talking about it writing articles on it confident in the future eos developers attempt to 10 percent buyback ahead of major um, announcement that's another positive news they're trying to buy back off his stocks and i think they're also paying the people they invested in block one um they're also uh, giving back huge paydays to their early backers as well. Again, that is a huge, huge thing. What they're trying to do. If you look at some of the returns, I mean, these are like lifetime returns. If you can, if you can get those returns. Although the Matic and T Fuel has been great. I mean, I've not made as much money on them, but there's guys on on the group, especially two guys. They're absolute beasts, and some of the money they've made. Um, I don't know if they'd like me to name them, but they've been absolute beasts in the group. Uh, again it's our group guys you can join it's still free guys i'm going to close it this weekend i've not sorry guys i've not had a chance to update the group as much i've been away this weekend but i wanted to get this video out for you all again if you, i'd recommend you research more about block dot one um uh, they are they own the code i believe for eos so make sure you research them as well when you're looking into eos so guys and um, some of the other news that's been going on uh, we've talked about the buyback guys, the co-founder, game changer. There's in, uh, inflation, strongly supports inflation. So recent proposal seeking to change the EOS annual rate of inflation from 5 to 1%. So this is a lot of stuff is going on with this project, guys. You can see how the vote history and, and again, big things coming up. So there's a lot of hype around this coin and we see big price moves usually when this sort of hype is around. EOS block dot one buyback equals th that the amount of return. I think one of them I know one of the investors, I mean not not personally, but I've read about um him, I've learned from him as well. I've read some of articles. He's a I think it's a can't remember his name now. Uh, let me see if I can find his name. I'm sure you would have heard about him as well. He's a, uh, a prominent investor, really, and a lot of people, a lot of people know about him. And it shows, you know, they've got some big, big backers in the in the industry. I can't seem to find his name. Apologies, guys. If I do find it, I'll post it in the group or I'll tweet, it, I'll comment below, so you guys can be made aware of what is going on. So, guys, that's just a quick roundup of news that we're seeing again this is a bit more speculation what could be happening i might make a video on it talking about speculation of what might be happening but this video i wanted to keep on some of the, some more of the factual stuff that's coming on with eos so right guys the important stuff while you're here so like bitcoin guys you know bitcoin had that great price action at kind of 6000 range and it broke out of it and it's finding support below it this is something what i'd like to see bitcoin do as well and let's see if it can break above the 382 so i've bought it here again i've had two three uh, buys here i've sold half of it i mean i'm still in it if we go above it find support and it breaks out i'm going to look to buy again but on the daily the higher time frame it is looking good like I said, um, I bought it around here with the double bottom, come back to test it and let's see if it can break above guys. I think it will hold here and it could potentially break above. That's the dollar value. So the technical analysis point of view, it is looking good. The volume is looking good as well. It could be better. I'd like it a bit more volume, but it's still better guys. It's not as bad compared to some of the other coins. And uh, you can see what I like to see when I see green candles, I mean bigger candles and you can see that as well. But the volume needs to pick up as well. That's one thing I would like to see a bit more of. So it's not just a corrective and it actually breaks out higher because uh, this was a big zone it broke out and it's trying to find support and break higher so keep that in mind um in terms of some crazy price predictions i mean it's not too crazy especially if bitcoin and crypto starts running let me just quickly check this i mean these trades i need to just keep uh, in mind right yeah in terms of crazy price predictions guys this is where i'd be looking to see where it can go to if it does break above these zones again i don't know if it'll go straight away we've seen crazier things happen i just like to have a position in and then see how far it can go and you can see my 
trade confirmation there with the RSI helping me there as well just bouncing off a key level so that is just a dollar value guys the $20 could be our next target but previous highs would be the main target and if it breaks above that it can go higher but you can see how far it's dropped so the risk to reward of buying this low was quite high that's why I got in uh, which I had got got in more of but there's so many coins that are pumping uh, you have to be careful in which coins you are in and which coins you're not in but I'm trading EOS with Bitcoin guys so that's the key chart that I'm looking at guys and again it might be at a key level it's at the 618 level as you can see and it's trying to find support and move higher again it depends on what sort of investor you are if you're an aggressive investor you could buy here and expect it to go up or if you're going to follow my strategy you could wait for the moving averages and then buy back to the moving averages and with RSI moving up can I use my strategy that would be a safer entry but it could be a good entry to get in like I said it's coming into some decent level and in the shorter time frames that's what you use to enter you can see how is bouncing off of this guys and now is trying to do something similar and then the 618 level is a very very key level and in the shorter time frame it's above the moving averages as well so that's just a quick update guys against bitcoin guys against bitcoin the next target for me uh, i've drawn already two zones that i'm expecting it to kind of bounce off so let's see how they react in these zones those would be my next two zones and uh, i've not really predicted as much for for bitcoin because whenever you enter old coins now with bitcoin in this stage you have to be careful to see what bitcoin does because if bitcoin has a big pump up guys you, you won't be making as much money you'd rather have your money in bitcoin so make sure you keep in mind i mean i'm watching this very closely in a position from here with two stop losses one here i've got one below here because i do not i still have, i want to make sure i get in if bitcoin does run up so thank you very much for watching this video guys slightly longer video i tried to get in detail of what eos is some of the news that's going on what they're trying to do and um, then like i said they their, their goals are very very high they've got very uh, crazy goals and if they can deliver it guys the price can be very high if they're trying to you know saying they'll be better than ethereum you can look at ethereum's market cap on and eos so they have got a lot of room to run if they can deliver which is the question everyone's asking so thank you very much guys i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, you can join our face group face book group guys by clicking the link below there's some very knowledgeable people there i try to post there every day there's other people that are posting if i'm not there i'm sure someone else will and we can help each other grow in this crazy world of cryptocurrency if you enjoy these videos guys i try to keep you guys up to date uh, with crypto news technical analysis price prediction and you hear honest opinion of me not crazy predictions and pumping coins that i do you know do flashy kind of thumbnails um, but some of the content in this channel guys you'll find it valuable I hope so if not let me know I'll try to improve it but the content I would say is valuable and I've been trading for a while I'd, I've been in the market for years so uh, I'd like to think I know what I'm talking about so thank you very much guys smash that like button if you want to help me out guys all I, all I ask from you guys is subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification button I always say this and someone asks me how do you turn on the, no uh, turn on the notification button is by clicking the bell next to the subscribe button again thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and my question to you guys to end this video is what is your thoughts on eos how high do you think eos can go do you think it's a good investment or not so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much